Hi, I'm Charlotte with Freezer Meals 101. Welcome to this week's What's for Dinner, where I take our freezer meals and show you how we get those onto the plate. So this week we had barbecue shredded chicken, which if you've been watching these for a while, you've seen me make before because it really is a favorite and we do often make it when we make freezer meals. Um, we served that with coleslaw on buns and the garlic mayo that is so easy to whip up and just delicious and seriously tastes like a sandwich that you'd order in a restaurant. It's that good. So we cooked that up in the crock pot. There was a bit of an incident, but we'll get to that in a second. This week we also had the Southwest sausage skillet, which was one of those invention meals that we made with kind of the leftover prepped ingredients at the end of our huge, huge, massive, like 150 freezer meals session. So that was one of those and it turned out amazing. It was really tasty. I knew the flavors would go well together, but it even exceeded my expectations and super, super easy to make because it was a skillet meal. We also had beef hash, which is just like a long time favorite for the kids around here because um, it's like hash browns and beef and cheese and you know, some other things in there, but super easy. And we had chicken fried rice, which is my Tan Chazelle's recipe and I've been eating it since I was a kid. I've been making it since a few years after I got married, so a long time. And again, that one, everything is cooked already because your chicken's cooked, your rice is cooked, your veggies are in there, and so you're just really warming it up in the skillet or the oven. So it comes together very quickly. And it's always nice because it includes your carbs and your proteins and your veg. And so it's one of those all in one, which as a mom, I love. And then we had beef curry, which is another skillet meal. The beef strips cook up in like seven minutes. Like it's so fast. So once it's thawed in your freezer bag, you just dump the bag into the skillet and make some rice for on the side. And it's got some veggies in there. So you're really good to go. So let's get to how we made those meals. For the barbecue shredded chicken on buns. It's supposed to be easy. It's always delicious and this was no exception. But this time I had the crock pot incident. So I went to plug in my crock pot and the lights didn't come on. And I thought maybe I'd blown a fuse or something. So I tried a different plug in and had the same issue. I tried everything I could think of and in the end I just had to come to the realization that my crock pot was broken and I was a little sad and more than that I was thinking what am I going to do about supper because I've already thawed this bag of barbecue shredded chicken and I only know how to cook it in the slow cooker so I wasn't totally sure what to do until I remembered that I have one of my mom's old crock pots in like the storage room or whatever. So I went down, grabbed that out. It is old, like, I don't know how old, but you can probably tell from the picture. It is old. It works though. So I would actually, if it weren't for the fact that it's so small, and not big enough for our family, for some of the meals that I make in the slow cooker, I wouldn't even bother getting a new one. But because of the size of our family, I am going to get a new crock pot. This time I'm gonna get one with less bells and whistles because I think that means there's less to break on it. So I might have better luck. Anyway, we served once, <laughs> once I got you know, the shredded chicken actually cooking in the crock pot, then everything was smooth sailing from there. And I uh, got that served with some really easy coleslaw, just made a quick homemade dressing, simple, simple. Um, used the, you know, bag of shredded cabbage for my coleslaw, so that made it easy. And for the garlic mayo, it's just 
mayo, garlic, lemon juice, salt and pepper. So that's always easy. I will put the description to the recipe for the barbecue shredded chicken down below. And there is actually a recipe to the garlic mayo in there as well. So you can grab the actual measurements for that if you wanna make it up yourself. For the Southwest sausage skillet, it's just got those nice like Southwest flavors. It's got um, a can of green chilies in there and some corn, a little bit of tomatoes that we had left. I think I added taco seasoning and then I used up the leftover sausage that we had and some leftover cooked rice. So everything was already cooked in this. So again, it was just a matter of like heating it up. And then when we had made it, I had stapled a bag of shredded cheese to it. So I just topped it with the shredded cheese allowed that to melt. I waited until the sausage skillet was like cooked through so that everything was warm before I added the cheese and then just covered it so that the cheese could melt and we served it like it was. Some people added hot sauce cause we're kind of a hot sauce family. So uh, we add hot sauce to most things, but it did have nice flavors on its own. The beef hash, again, super simple and easy just take it once it's thawed dump it into a casserole dish and top it with the cheese that's already shredded and already attached and measured out in your bag that's what i love about doing those things beforehand because then you don't even have to wonder like do i have the ingredients for this or whatever so then we put that in the oven cooked it up and served it. Some of my kids like to add ketchup to it. You can add ketchup or hot sauce, or you can have it plain. You do whatever you like. That recipe will also be down below. The chicken fried rice. Again, it is my aunt or tant in French, Giselle's recipe. And we've been making it as a freezer meal for quite a few years now. I really like having some of these in the freezer because then if you have a busy day this is already cooked and it's like a one meal thing and everybody in my house even my picky eaters like this one the beef curry um the the beef strips are not cooked in this one but they're so thin that they cook up very quickly so you just take your thawed bag dump it into a skillet cook that up give it a bit of a stir and you can serve it over pasta or over rice we had ours in wraps this time which lately has been my kids preference like a nice complete dinner nothing really fancy about this meal but it gets everyone fed that is what we had for dinner this week before i go i wanted to share with you a little something i'm working on for you so I have been making freezer side dishes because it's a question I get so much from you guys. Like if I have the main course, what do I do for sides? Or, you know, I don't want to be running to the store to get things for the sides. So what do you do about sides? And the truth is that a lot of the time I actually pull my sides from the freezer because I've got some awesome freezer side dish recipes. So I'm gonna be sharing those with you. I've been working on that. I wasn't able to get it filmed all in one day, so I've kind of been working on it over the course of the last week. So I'm gonna get that up for you next week. I think that that will really help you when it comes to being able to feed your family like complete meals and having your vegetables and your starches and all of, all of the things. So um, I'm excited to be able to do that for you. So I'm working on that. So tune in next week. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that little subscribe button. And I think there's like a notification bell that you can hit too if you wanna be notified of new videos like the side dish one that's coming up. So I've actually got so many ideas, <laughs> too many ideas than I have time for, but I have so many ideas for videos of what I wanna share with you guys. So just be sure to keep watching. Thank you. I so appreciate it and happy cooking.